Smiths have arrived. <laughs> but, uh, has anyone here taken the Myers Briggs personality test? Yeah. 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 Well, those of you that haven't, um, basically you, you answer all the questions and your employer works out if you're a psycho or not. But, uh, but uh, yeah, I, I'm not. I, I, took, uh, I took it and I'm an ENFJ, which means that I'm an extrovert. Who thought? Um, I'm intuitive and uh, feeling and judging. So, uh, so basically me means I'm a feeler, but uh, not in the Catholic priest way. <laughs> yeah, it means that I feel emotions. So if any of you boo me tonight, you can explain to my wife why scraping me off the front of the train and put me in plastic bags. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, other ENFJs are Nigella Lawson and Daniel Radcliffe. Um, so that means I'm a sexy, culinary wizard orphan he likes to stir stuff with his wand. Okay. Um, but my, my wife took the test and she's the complete opposite to me. She's an INTJ. Um, so, uh, so basically Mrs. Satan. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, she, uh, she's, um, she's in the, the thing of um, Margaret Thatcher and Napoleon and Hitler. So, uh, yeah, you can imagine what it's like with, uh, with her. I mean, it's true. I mean, the other day we were in our, our local, um, local uh, shopping centre and we were going up to the car and uh, I chose, the, I chose the, the floor that we were on and everything was going fine. And uh, I looked up and who'd, who'd made the lift? Schindler. Schindler's lift. <laughs> I tell you, Hitler. But, uh, but no, I mean, uh, I'm a... Uh, a cosplayer, as you can tell. Uh, which, uh, yeah. 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 Uh, before you start wondering, it's nothing to do with uh, doing things kinky with uh, weird lettuces. It's where you go to uh, you go to Comic Con and uh, dress as your favourite superhero. As you can see, I've dressed as Beast from X Men tonight. <laughs> uh, that was good fun crack. Like <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, go to go to cosplay. But you think about the hazards. Of, uh, of, of, of cosplay, you know, travelling on public transport, you know. I mean, has anyone got, ever got an erection dressed as Spider-Man? Yeah. Dressed as, on, on public transport. I mean, you've got to think about it, you know, you, you're coming in head to toe in spandex, and like, you, you, you've got loose pre-convention bowels, you're surrounded by scantily clad ladies in their underwear, also travelling to, to Comic-Con, the gentle throb of the underground train. <laughs> Balancing the clutch between raging erection and shitting myself. <laughs> but, uh, but no, I mean, I was able to stem the flow, so to speak, and I got to, got to the Comic Con. And uh, yeah, I was thinking, you know, how, how are we going to go to the toilet? Because you think that's another thing, you know, when you're dressed you know, in a head to toe in this you know, full body morph suit, I mean, you could, take a, you could take a friend with you. But I mean, I mean, ladies do that, you know, naturally. You know, you go to the toilet. It's like you know, a herd of ladies. There's the there's the toilet, like a herd, like a herd of wildebeest with breasts. <laughs> and there's a toilet. But I mean, men not so much. I mean, could you could you imagine? You know, Charlie, could you stole my cock as I would out my leggings. <laughs> so, it's not gonna it's not gonna work, really, is it? But uh, but yeah, I mean, Mrs. Satan, she came to Comic Con with me last year. And she walked in and she went, Mmm, it smells of dweebs in here. I was like, what do She was like, spot cream and B.O. But, uh, but, yeah, but going back to the, the problem with the, you know, going to the toilet, she had a, she had a really good a really good thing that you know, she did. Just before, just before I left, she said, I'll tell you what, I'll cut you some piss flaps. I was like, God, so imagine me stood there like that on each chair, one leg on each chair. She's got my bollocks in one hand, she's got a blunt pair of scissors in the other, and she's jabbing away at my crotch. And I'm thinking to myself, please don't sneeze, please don't sneeze, please don't sneeze. Well, I don't have any erections anymore. Thank you. <laughs>